right now, we have The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, Beta Showcase. I am Dwango AC, Keeper of Taskbot, and I am so happy to welcome you to the Ocarina of Time Beta Showcase. Our director with us here today is Soren. Hi, everyone. I'm a tools developer and music arranger for the N64 community. We also have Save State. Hello, I'm an Ocarina of Time scientist, speedrunner, and world record holder. We only have a couple of quick things to tell you about really fast. This is an unmodified Ocarina of Time cartridge. This is the first release we know of that came out in the United States, and you wouldn't believe what's in this cartridge. This is a real, original N64. The only modification is an RGB mod to get a clean video signal. Otherwise, the console hasn't been modified in any way, and the gameplay is completely unaffected. We're going to get started with save state. Yeah, so if we're ready to start, we'll begin in three, two, one. At a certain point, we'll connect TaskBot to all four controller ports. TaskBot will press a series of button presses very quickly to achieve what we call ACE. ACE stands for Arbitrary Code Execution. Once you have Arbitrary Code Execution, you can do a lot of different things. And we're going to play a short task movie here, about 20 seconds or so. So right now, the game is you know, interpreting the controller input as link wiggling around, but also interpreting, interpreting the controller input as code. At first, it's one instruction per frame, and then it goes a bit faster. And after a few seconds here, you'll see a little green bar in the corner of the screen. That means this was successful. That was the big moment, though you may not have realized it. It's a little tricky to input. You can see why Nintendo didn't leave this in the final game. <laughs> So we've learned the song, it represents courage, and it will allow us to change between child and adult without having to pull the Master Sword, and that will be very important. Oh, that's the uh, Child Link version of the Running Man. He doesn't know what's coming to him. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just gonna warp back forward in time, seven years, five, and here he comes. So he's not happy that we finally beat him. B, and this is actually what it does in game, is it blows up, that's actually its behavior. <laughs> We can't avoid, uh, you'll see we got knocked back, but we didn't take damage from that. There, there we, we go. go. There we go. Whew. So here we have the Sage's Charm. This has enhanced our magic power. It represents power. You can see it has doubled our magic, magic bar again. But now that we have the Fire Medallion on C, we can use the Powered Up Fire and melt the ice in Zora's Domain. This is an alcove you can see, but now it's actually an exit, and it will lead us to the Unicorn Fountain. What? <laughs> this is the original design for the Great Fairy. Um, we just had to, it's actually in the same object file as the normal Great Fairy. The Overture of Sages in front of the Master Sword, as the Beta Great Fairy told us. So, we got the full Song of Time, which represented courage. We got the Sage's Charm, which represented power. And we got the Overture of Sages, which represents wisdom. So our heart is now in balance between the three virtues. Just want to remind all of you that this is an original, unmodified copy of Ocarina of Time. And this is a real, original N64. All we've done is press buttons on four controllers very quickly, very precisely, with the help of Taskbot. So this really is vanilla Ocarina of Time, just with a lot of glitches, and a lot of very careful building on those glitches to create everything you're seeing here. Folks, enjoy.
So what do you think, folks? Should we see the future? By the way, this is in engine. This is not a video. This is the N64. Type here together in the chat. Now is a fantastic time to subscribe. Don't forget, you can gift sub people. If you are subscribed, type here together in the chat or just try a few emotes that are really popular. Okay. ありがとう。一緒に未来を作りましょうか。That was incredible. That was incredible. Everyone in the room is standing. Standing for Mr. Tazba, Dwayne Gorosi, Soren, and Save State. So incredible. I want to read one last donation. I think this really hits it well. The Sound Defense donates $25. They say, this Ocarina of Time beta showcase may be the most fascinating thing I've ever seen at a GDQ. I can picture a game containing all of this interesting story content, and I want to see more. Thank you to Save State and the Tazbot team for showing this off. Give it up one more time. All right, everyone. We are having a great night. We're raising money for Doctors Without Borders. We will be right back after this. Don't you go anywhere.